This lesson is on geometric sequences. So last semester we talked about arithmetic sequences where you had to find, um, there was a pattern of numbers given to you and you had to find like the next three or four numbers and um, you added or subtracted values to find the next three or four numbers. So geometric sequence is very similar to the arithmetic sequences. The only difference is, is you're going to be multiplying or dividing by numbers given a pattern to find the next three or four numbers. So with the geometric sequence, it's a sequence in which the ratio of successive terms is a constant R called a common ratio. To find a term in a geometric se sequence, you're going to multiply the previous term by r. And it's very important that you remember that you're going to multiply the previous term by r. There is a formula to help you find the geometric sequence, and I would highly recommend you um, know this formula, because you'll see it now and you'll also see it in the high school. So the formula for it is the nth term of a geometric sequence. To find the nth term of a geometric sequence with the common ratio r is a of n, so your term, is equal to a of n minus 1 multiplied by your ratio. So when they're asking to find, let's say, the ninth term, you would do a 9 minus 1 times whatever your common ratio is going to be times r. So let's get into some examples. We're going to be using this formula, so really um, know this formula to help you with geometric sequences. Here's a situation that says find the next three terms in each in this geometric sequence. So we have 5, negative 10, 20, and negative 40. So we want to find the next three terms. So remember in our previous slide to find what the ratio is, the common ratio, you're going to divide the previous term to the original. So what you're going to do, like it says, find the value of r by dividing each term by the one before it. So what we're going to do is do negative 10 divided by 5, 20 divided by negative 10, negative 40 divided by 20 to get negative 2. So our common ratio, our r value, is going to be negative 2. So since we found our common ratio, what you're going to do now is you're going to multiply each term by negative 2 to find the next three terms. So what I have here is negative 40. We're going to multiply that by negative 2. We get 80. 80 multiplied by negative 2 is going to give me negative 160. Negative 160 multiplied by negative 2 is 320. So the next three terms are going to be 80, negative 160, and 320. And this would be your answer. Whoops. Right here. It's very important to follow these steps when you're solving. Now the next example gets a little bit more involved. They're having us use actually the formula, the geometric sequence formula. So it says the first term of the geometric sequence is 500. So they're giving me my first term is 500. And the common ratio is 0 0.2 and they want us to find the seventh term. So they are giving me my common ratio, which is 0 0.2. So let's go through the steps to solve this. The first step is to remember the formula. So it's A of N. Remember, my n is my term, so they're wanting to find my seventh term. So it's my a of 1, my a of 1 is 500, times my r. My r is my common ratio, which is 0 0.2, n minus 1. With my n minus 1, my n is going to be my... Um, term, my seventh term, so it's going to be 7 minus 1. So the way this is set up is a of 7 equals 500 times 0 0.2, then raised to the 7 minus 1 power. So when we simplify this down, it's going to be 500 times 0 0.2 raised to the 6th power. Remember when you're solving, you need to do 0 0.2 raised to the 6th, then multiply that answer by 500, and you would end up with 0.032. So your seventh term of the sequence 
is going to be 0 0.032. The next example says, what is the eighth term of the sequence? We have 1,500, 250, and 125. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the previous term to the one in front of it. So we have 500 divided by 1,000 to get 1 half, 250 divided by 500 to get 1 half, 125 divided by 250 to get 1 half. So my common ratio, my R value, is going to be 1 half. So then what I'm going to use is my geometric sequence formula, A of N equals my first term, so a of 1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power. My a of 1 is 1,000. My common ratio, my r, is 1 half. And then my n, they're wanting to find the nth term, so my n is going to be 8 minus 1. So the way we set that up is a of, n, a of 8 equals 1,000 times half raised to the 8 minus 1 power which simplifies to 1,000 times 1 half to the seventh. So my final answer is 7.8125. So my eighth term, the eighth term of my sequence is going to be 7.8125.